A peripheral blood stem cell transplant procedure can take up to three months from start to finish and involves five specific steps. Mobilization of stem cells. Collection of stem cells. High-dose chemotherapy, radiation therapy to treat cancer. Transplant of stem cells. Engraftment of the stem cells. Restoration of the immune system. The goal of the mobilization process is to get as many stem cells as possible out of the bone marrow and into the bloodstream where they can be collected. Stem cells are typically mobilized using GCSF either alone or in combination with other agents. GCSF is a stem cell growth factor that gradually increases the number of stem cells in the bone marrow. The increase of stem cells in the bone marrow will eventually result in an increase in stem cells moving into the bloodstream. After four days of GCSF injections and approximately 11 hours prior to the first collection, an injection of Mozabil is administered to patients under the skin. Mozabil mobilizes stem cells from the bone marrow into the circulating blood. The combination of Mozabil plus GCSF has been shown to increase the number of stem cells available for collection compared to GCSF alone. After the GCSF and Mozabil injections, the patient is ready to have their stem cells collected through a process called apheresis. The goal of apheresis is to collect as many stem cells as possible in the fewest number of apheresis sessions. A patient's blood is collected and circulated through a machine. The machine separates and collects the stem cells. The remaining blood components are returned to your body and the stem cells collected are stored. The target number of cells for transplant is usually between 2 to 5 million stem cells per kilogram of body weight. Transplanting at least 2 million stem cells may be associated with faster restoration of the immune system. Apheresis often needs to be repeated until the target number of CD34 positive stem cells is achieved, on average, one to four apheresis sessions. Before each additional apheresis session, the patient receives injections of GCSF and Mozabil. Some patients are unable to reach the minimum target preferred by their physicians. These patients may not be able to proceed to the transplant procedure. Once the target number of stem cells has been collected, the patient receives chemotherapy to treat their cancer. This treatment is meant to kill the cancer, but also compromises their immune system. Following chemotherapy, and once the patient has been stabilized, the stored stem cells are transplanted back into the patient through an intravenous infusion. Once stem cells are in the bloodstream, they migrate back into the bone marrow. Over a period of 10 to 30 days, these stem cells will increase in number and develop into different types of immune cells, including platelets and neutrophils. A successful transplant is measured by the time to platelet and neutrophil engraftment and durable restoration of the immune system. Mozabil is indicated in combination with granulocyte colony stimulating factor, GCSF, to mobilize hematopoietic stem cells to the peripheral blood for collection and subsequent autologous transplantation in patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and multiple myeloma. This information is provided for educational purposes. Please consult your physician for questions related to your transplant, treatment, or the use of Mozabil. Important safety information. Mozabil is not intended for hematopoietic stem cell transplant mobilization and collection in patients with leukemia. Mozabil, in combination with GCSF, increases circulating white blood cells. Your white blood cell counts will be monitored. Thrombocytopenia, a decrease in the number of platelets circulating in the blood, has been observed in patients receiving Mozabil. Your platelet counts will be monitored. Cancer cells may be released from the bone marrow and subsequently collected along with your stem cells during apheresis. The potential effects of infusing cancer cells during your transplant have not been well studied. Your spleen may be examined if you experience pain in the left upper stomach area or left shoulder area, as these may be signs of an enlarged or burst ruptured spleen. Mozabil may harm the unborn child when administered to a pregnant woman. Scientific studies have shown that Mozabil caused harm to unborn animals. The safety of Mozabil in pregnant women has not been established in clinical trials. If you are of childbearing potential, you should be advised to avoid becoming pregnant while receiving treatment with Mozabil. 
If this drug is used during pregnancy, or if you become pregnant while taking this drug, you should be apprised of the potential hazard to the unborn child. The most common adverse reactions occurring in greater than or equal to 10% of patients during hematopoietic stem cell mobilization and apheresis were diarrhea, 37%, nausea, 34%, tiredness, fatigue, 27%, injection site reaction, 34%, headache, 22%, pain in your joints, arthralgia, 13%, dizziness, 11%, and vomiting, 10%. Please see full prescribing information.